Got another question for the organic reactions playlist. Bit of a beast this one, um, lots of different parts to it. So it starts off with some just general reactions of functional groups. Then it moves on to the flow chart where you've got to put the reagents and conditions in and structures in the boxes. Then there's some stuff about polymerization. And finally, if that wasn't enough, there's um, a plan of a synthetic route and a calculation. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. And hopefully you like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Okay, so make a start. So there's the reaction equation for um, propanoic acid with aqueous potassium hydroxide. There's your second one. So it just follows the acid plus metal makes salt and hydrogen um, format. Just be careful, you've got magnesium, so that's a 2 plus ion, and the methanoate ion is just 1 minus, so that's why we need two of those. And there's your last one, so alpha amino acid has a carbon with an H and an H2 and a COH group directly attached. We were told the R group, so sodium carbonate is going to react with the two carboxylic acid groups and generate the salt, so we have COONA in both of those positions there. And this one is acid plus carbonate, so salt, water, and carbon dioxide. So moving up the flow chart, I'm going to start with this, uh, these two boxes here. You'll notice I've written down esterification. So in this reaction here, the carboxylic acid and the acid catalyst, along with the heat, is going to react with the alcohol part. I'm going to get an ester group there. And in this one, we've got an alcohol, and again, we've got the sulfuric acid catalyst and heat. So that's going to generate an ester group here with the carboxylic acid. So there's your two structures there. So we'll move on to this reaction here. So what's happened? The nitrile group has been converted into the carboxylic acid group. So what's the reagent for that? So I would ordinarily go for aqueous hydrochloric acid, or you could put a mixture of H plus ions and water. So finishing off with this reaction here, remember NaBH4 is a reducing agent and it'll reduce a carbonyl to an alcohol. So if we look at the type of alcohol we've got here, so this is a secondary alcohol. So the carbon with the OH on is bonded to two other carbons directly. And so therefore this um, the molecule here must have been a ketone and it would have that structure there. Moving on to the polymerization part, you'll notice I've already drawn up um, pent 3 enoic acid. So the three signifies that the double bond starts at three and goes to four. And just be careful with your numbering. The carboxylic acid group carbon is into carbon number one. So obviously the three is there. So before I move on to the two repeat units for the polymer, I've just drawn up the uh, monomer as a sort of structural formula. Um, and I always base my addition polymer monomers on an ethene molecule. Makes it really easy to draw the um, repeat units. So all I'm going to do is break this double bond and put my end bonds on. And I'm going to do that twice, which gives me this structure here. Moving on to the next part, so I've drawn up the two monomers here, and we're going to draw one repeat unit for the condensation polymer. So we're going to lasso out a water molecule and generate an ester group. So I'm going to take the OH group from the carboxylic acid, which means I'll take just the hydrogen from the OH group on this. So that's given me that there for the repeat unit. Moving on to the next part, so we've got this structure here and we've got to come up with the monomer structure. So we need to see where the repeat is. So the repeat unit's this here, so we've got three of those. So basically I need to turn this part here into an OH group, two OH groups. And this part here can either be carboxylic acid group or an acyl chloride group. So either of those would be absolutely fine there. So for part D, before I draw the repeat unit of this polymer, there's my monomer, 2-aminopropanoic acid, but I've deliberately drawn it this way. There's the propanoic acid part, carbon 2 with the amino group on. De deliberately drawn it this way, so I've got my um, key functional groups that are going to interact and form the polymer sort of on either side. So 
So basically what I need to do here is take off a hydrogen from the NH2 group and an OH group from the carboxylic acid group and generate an amide group, which gives this structure here. So moving on to the calculation now, slightly tricky in one sense, I'll explain at the end. Um, so we've got a polymer of 400 molecules of two amino propanoic acid. So we've basically got 400 of these essentially, but at the end of the very end of the chain, we're still going to have an H there and an OH there. So that's obviously going to have a knock on effect in the calculation. So the first thing I'm doing is working out the MR of the repeat unit, it comes out at 71. So there's 400 of those, which gives us 28,400. But remember on the very first and last uh, molecule in the chain of 400, we're gonna have that H and that OH. So we need to add another 18 onto this, which means that the MR is 28418. So well done if you got that one right. And finally, the six marker, this synthetic root plan. So we've got to make compound I from this two chloropropanoic acid. So if we just look at the functional group differences, so we've got a chlorine group here going to an amino group, and we've gone from a carboxylic acid group to an ester group. This is an ethyl ester. Now you can do the synthesis in either order, First thing I'm going to do is convert this chlorine here into the amino group. So to do that, we're going to reflux the 2-chloropropanoic acid with an excess of ammonia in ethanol. That ethanol is just a solvent. It just helps the reactants um, mix together. There's the equation there. So all we need to do now is convert this into compound I. So we need to react. It's going to be the carboxylic acid group is going to be reacted with ethanol to generate the ethyl ester group, and we need um, a conch sulfuric acid catalyst, and we need to heat it, so I'm gonna say reflux again. So there's that written up with the equation there, and remember I said earlier, you can do these in either order. So we'll finish with the calculation, so the first thing I need to do is work out how many moles of compound I we need to make, because we're told that we need to prepare 9.36 grams of it. So that's coming out at 0.08 moles. Now we're gonna factor in that it's only a 64% yield. So we need to scale up to get the moles of the two chloropropanoic acid that we're gonna need. And the way we do that is we divide by the percentage yield. So I've divided by the 64, multiply by 100, or you could just divide by 0.64 there. That's coming out at 0.125 moles of this. So we just need to turn that into grams now by multiplying by the MR of this, which is coming out at 13.5625 grams, or you could say 13.6 grams there.